We're thrilled to be renovating this charming, time-honored carriage house in Wayne, Pennsylvania. Our clients reached out to us with the idea to transform this dilapidated structure into a multifunctional addition to their property. They were adamant that we preserve the period-correct look and incorporate authentic materials as best we can. So our job was to find a way to not only bring it into the modern era, but to do so without taking away from the heritage of the building. We broke this project into two phases. Phase one includes leveling the first floor, new concrete flooring, brand new plumbing and sewage piping, installing new garage doors, and relocating the second floor access to the exterior of the building. Doing this allows our clients to use the first floor as a garage and a workshop. The second floor will feature a bedroom, bathroom, kitchenette, and a cozy living space. We'll talk about all that in phase two. We're gonna be refinishing the concrete in here because it's totally destroyed. Um, we're gonna take this staircase out from here, delete it, and we're gonna put it onto the back side of the building most likely. So it's not an eyesore from the front. Okay. Updating lighting in here for shop garage space. And then we need updated lighting on the exterior of the building just for ambiance and for security. The garage was very dated and structurally compromised. And this garage carriage house needed a lot of work in order to make it a fully functional workshop and apartment space. But the LBK design build team was excited for the challenge. Hey guys, I'm Ben with LBK. Uh, we're super excited today. We're starting the first phase of our carriage house project. Um, we got our guys in here working on footings. So we're gonna be putting in three new beams to support the second floor. Um, so you can get kind of take a look and see what that process looks like. So as you can see, our footings are poured. We got our all thread drilled in. That's gonna help connect our columns that will carry the load of the beam we're putting in. There's gonna be three beams, one on each end and one across the center that'll help carry the load of the existing structure. So we're back on site today to continue our structural work here in Wayne at our carriage house project. Yesterday we uh, laid out all our marks, got our post base ready, and got our columns set. Today we're installing all the structural beams that are gonna carry the weight of the building. And then we're gonna go ahead and continue to lift up the center of the building that has settled quite a bit over the years. So we're gonna pick that up, install some new temp walls to carry the load. And then we're gonna put a beam in the middle to carry that load permanently, and then take the walls out and let it sit on the beam. I think we'll be able to do the, uh, the right side first and then I'll do a final lift and we'll get the other one in. That's it! Hello, I'm Rod Kratz from Good Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Today we're going to be excavating and installing the sewer and the water from the existing system to the house back to the uh, garage. Um, we're going to be excavating three feet uh, down for the sewer and roughly four feet for the water line. Uh, the sewer line will be tied into the existing clean out at the corner of the house and uh, we'll be tunneling underneath the foundation at the garage and uh, bringing both the water and the sewer up there and uh, terminating um, for the future uh, plumbing to be tied in late at a later date. Uh, we'll be installing everything in 1B stone and uh, we'll get inspected today at 2 o'clock and then we will uh, cover it with stone again and backfill um, everything and compact the ground. So now that we're done the interior structural work, the next steps would be to do trenches for the plumbing and electric. Uh, while that's going on, we're going to switch gears and work on the deck out here. So right now we're waiting for the inspector to come. He's going to give us the green light to pour concrete for our footing. Uh, and ultimately there's going to be a second story deck with stairs down and we're going to cut in a door for access to the second floor. How's it going? All right, what's up? 
All right, the township gave us our okay to pour the footings. We got our material just delivered for the deck. Next step is to put it together. Right now we're prepping for the garage floor pour. They got our stone base tamped down, our expansion material all around the perimeter. They're rolling out the uh, mesh right now, and we're gonna pour half tomorrow morning and the second half the following day. smaller space and we're going to trim them out so the garage doors can get installed next week. All right, we're inside the carriage house. The garage door guys are wrapping up install, and that'll pretty much take care of the first floor down here. Welcome back. Today we're starting phase two. Phase two includes creating a new entranceway to the second floor, and a full renovation of the second floor into a fully functional in-law suite, or Airbnb. So today we're going to be filling in the hole where the old staircase used to come down to the garage below. Once Chris has finished filling in the opening where the stairs used to be, he's going to come up to the second floor and start framing in the walls. You can see some blue tape on the ground where some of the new walls will be and the rest will be on the other side. The second floor was to be made into a small apartment for guests. A new bathroom, kitchen, and bedroom are shown in the plans. So this line here marks the wall that will uh, be the back of the kitchenette area. Um, next to that, you can see this will be our bathroom area. And in front of me will be a little living space. And then at the back side will be a bedroom. Once framing went up on the second floor, it was go time. Rough-ins, drywall, newly sanded and finished floors, and tile were installed, as well as a new roof to top off this carriage house rebuild. Cabinets were installed, and now this in-law suite was starting to take shape. Well, welcome back to our carriage house project one last time. Uh, we're doing a final walkthrough today. Let me uh, show you around. All right, so welcome to the second floor of our carriage house. Now, if you remember back when we started this project and when we first got on here, this place looked like the set of a horror movie. It was in really bad shape. It was all dilapidated. There were structural issues. Things were leaking in here. There were, there were pets occupying the space, or wild animals, I should say. Um, and it was in really bad shape. But uh, let me take you around, and I'll kind of show you some of the stuff that we restored and kept, and some new things that we added. So originally, uh, the entrance to this upstairs space was through the garage down below us. But we kind of changed that around to, to a lot for uh, two uh, available spots for parking for full-size cars or SUVs down below by removing that staircase. And we opted to go with a doorway here on this side of the building with a deck and a staircase going down to the outside. As you walk in now, there's a brand new little kitchenette here. We, use, uh, we reused some of the wood paneling that was in the old stairwell. So this turquoise blue 
paneling was repurposed and set back in place and the idea was to kind of keep a theme of um, reusing and recycling some of the old materials into the space so the overall space is new and finished but it kind of looks rustic um, keeping with that theme going so if we look at the floor down below here uh, this is the original floor that was here. It's a three quarter inch tongue and groove uh, Douglas fir. We were short in a couple spaces. There was some rock going on due to some leaks. Uh, we were able to patch in and tooth in some areas to kind of make it work and the overall result, uh, we think it looks pretty good. We re restored uh, an existing bathroom here with a new clawfoot tub, kind of kind of looks old. Um, and all new finishes and whatnot, but overall it kind of is keeping with the theme. We did repurpose and reuse this old door and we turned it into a pocket door. This really cool stained glass, uh, put it on a soft close system so the door doesn't slam. Just ahead of us here beyond the bathroom is the bedroom. Uh, again, keeping with this carriage house, older feeling rustic theme, we do have a, a really cool barn door. As we go into the bedroom here, you'll notice all these collar ties that are kind of spanned throughout the space. Those collar ties were also original and we opted along with the client to leave those exposed to keep that rustic theme going on. Um, with this roof being quite, quite a bit pitched, we did have to bring in some knee walls to kind of close the space off and make it look more manageable. Uh, but we did choose to reuse some of the beadboard in the space from demolition, repurposed them as doors, and then we converted these, these areas into closets. So plenty of storage um, for all kinds of things for the client. Right above my head, another feature uh, of this building that we kind of restored and we kind of changed a little bit is this cupola. Um, previously here, there were the roof rafters kind of crossed this opening here. We wanted, and the client wanted to be able to see it, so we kind of converted it into like a skylight box. Um, and then the windows above in the actual cupola, we pop those out and replace them with vinyl replacement windows. So they're energy efficient, uh, they work, they're sealed from the outside, and they let tons of light in through uh, into this space and also above here into the bedroom. Welcome back to the ground floor portion of our carriage house. And as you can see and look around, we got a brand new slab uh, for our garage. As we look up ahead over here, um, up above me, uh, if, you, if you remember earlier on in the project, uh, this building suffered, suffered from some major structural issues. Uh, the foundation was kind of crumbling along the sides and then the second story was kind of falling into the middle. So what we did to remediate that situation was we had our engineers spec these really big PSL uh, columns and uh, really big LVL beams that span across in three sections of the building at both ends in the center. Uh, and we went ahead and got them kind of color matched to the building and the surrounding walls. So they kind of die into the background and fade away and you don't really see them. But ultimately our structure is nice and sound and ready for many more years of enjoyment. Mm -hmm. 